Uh, sick of robocalls to your cell phone? They can be so annoying. Minnesotans get an average of eight each day. Now a bunch of new apps promise to block the scammers before you pick up. But do they work? WCCO's Liz Collin found a Twin Cities man going to great lengths to fight back against frustrating phone calls. I'm doing a little series on scamming the scammer. He runs his live stream on Twitch from a small office suite in Burnsville. I was given a verification ID and I was supposed to call back. Where Jeremy Dysock has to be one of the few to call robocallers back. You have been qualified for this $9,700. For fun. Just stay excited, okay? Okay, cool. I've taken a completely different approach to how I handle them. Dysot gets about 15 calls like that a day, sometimes stalling the scammer for hours. If I'm dragging this out with them, not scamming some elderly person who's betting on hope. It's no secret that machine-made calls are out of control. The IRS is filing lawsuits against you. The number of robocalls to Minnesotans doubled last year. To inform you regarding some legal enforcement action. More than a half million were made to the 612 area code in one month alone. On Facebook, you shared your frustration. Nicholas gets dozens a day. Kelly posted that he's blocked more than 3,000 numbers so far. Scroll your app store and you'll find a long list of programs promising to end the madness. That one's free. We downloaded a few free options that mostly work the same way. Get a robocall, report it to the app. So the next time the same number calls another user, it's marked as spam. This is an actual call on the robokiller uh, from this morning. Jeremy Dysock gave robokiller a try. It'll answer the phone. The robokiller is talking back to it, basically mumbling, saying, wait a minute, here, you know, here, hold on. So essentially you've got two computers trying to scam each other. But for Dysock, it didn't last. The robocalls were back that same day. All the feedback that we get is very positive. Major cell carriers now offer their own lines of protection. It's on there. Verizon installed its free call filter on my phone. But even in our demo, the app... It's identifying the calls from Brazil. It wasn't 100% foolproof. It should be identifying that it's a spam call. In the interim... It just keeps going. At the University of Minnesota's Technological Leadership Institute, Mike Johnson doesn't think the technology is there yet for apps to be truly effective. In order for that app to work, you have to know it's a bad number. Someone's got to have reported it. It had to have been used. Number spoofing takes seconds, meaning it's just a matter of time for the machine to work around it. If I'm a scammer and suddenly my, my number stops working, I just change it from 1234 to 1235 and I keep calling. Johnson believes the old advice, if you don't know the number, don't answer still rings true as those like Dysock and the rest of us wait for a prolonged connection. Something has to happen to stop these things. To peace and quiet. This is the final attempt to reach you. Liz Collin.